um, Grim, why is there red coming out of your butt? Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Tux's Weapons mod which adds in a nice handful of really cool melee and gun themed weapons into your Minecraft worlds. So there are a fair few to get through here, as you can see there are tons and we've got a little shooting booth over here which we'll use later. So yeah, let's get straight into it but first... I've got to introduce you to Grim. You all know Grim. Look at him. He's beautiful. He's not going to be able to help us too much today because, you know, he can't hold a weapon, unfortunately. But he's just going to help us be cute and just um be around, I guess. So let's move on to the first weapon, which is the crossbow. Now, this one is very cool and kind of like an upgrade to your normal Minecraft bow. And what you're going to need to craft it is four oak wood planks, three iron ingots, and two string. And this will give you the crossbow. Now, the crossbow works a bit differently and needs different ammo to the normal Minecraft arrows. And you're going to need these things called bolts, which require one feather and two iron ingots and that will give you two bolts and you can also upgrade these normal bolts to poisonous bolts if you just add one bolt and a spider eye into a crafting table now if we take these this works a lot differently or a little bit differently to a normal minecraft bow if i just change into game mode zero quickly we can use this bow now as you can see if i'm right clicking it it has no ammo in it which means that i can't fire it even though there is ammo in my hotbar but if i right click with the bolt you will see the arrow um capacity go down and it will now be in my crossbow so now if I right click and hold it, you will now be able to fire it. But as you fire the arrow, you will no longer be able to right click. So you need to load them one at a time, which is kind of the downside when comparing it to a normal Minecraft bow. But as you saw just then, it's a really quick, accurate, and has a lot of distance on it too. So it's definitely worth crafting. So let's try this out. We're going to load up another bolt and get a little piggy volunteer in here in our little shooting range there. So let's get the piggy in, hold our right click, hold it for a little bit, and you will get a one-shot kill with this arrow. So as you saw, that was incredible one shot kills to the head and the longer you hold it back the more power you get and it's very very accurate it goes in an extremely straight line so you have no kind of um, normal bow arc let's try this again there we go right in the head it's beautiful it's a very very powerful weapon and now let's try it with the poison bolt so you can use one crossbow with different arrows you just need to load them up before you shoot them so i can use the poisonous and the normal bolts of this so let's get another piggy in here and this one i don't want to kill i just want to poison it so let's try this and then, oh my god, as you can see, it did get poisoned, but it did die straight away. So let's try this again. We've got some more bolts left. Try this once more, just so I can show you that it does poison them. Here we go. There we go. There you go. It's poisoned. He didn't quite kill him there, but he will be poisoned, and he will slowly have his health drained away. Sorry, Piggy. Oh, he's, he's gone. No, no, he's back. It's fine. He's poisoned, and that is pretty much the crossbow. So up next, we are going to use this, which is dynamite. It's really awesome, and it's pretty much what you expect. It's just a throwable form of TNT. Now, the recipe for it is just two gunpowder, one sand, and one string, and all you do is take it, put it in your hotbar, and throw it. So let's just go into creative mode quickly so we don't run out of them. All you need to do is aim, throw, and it will explode. Look at that. Beautiful. So let's um, throw it again. And it will just explode, which is really awesome. So it's just pretty much a throwable form of TNT, which doesn't need any redstone current. And I'm not sure why the sounds aren't working. That's pretty random. But anyway, they were working before. So now we're going to kind of move on to the melee weapons, which goes from the battle axe all the way up to the spear. And these come in all kind of material flavors. And by that, I mean they come in wood, stone, iron, gold, and diamond. So they all come in every single flavor. You just need to use all of the appropriate materials to craft them. So first up is the Battle Axe, which has a massive damage capacity, but a low durability. And by that, it goes up to plus nine attack damage. So that is two more than a diamond sword if you're using the Battle Axe, but its durability isn't as good. It's still pretty decent because it's a diamond, but um, its durability just isn't that great. So to craft it, you're going to need two sticks and then five of your appropriate material. In this case, it's iron to create the iron one. And that still has a plus eight attack damage, which is really, really good and you can still get plus seven which is the same strength as the diamond sword when using stones so the power of these is incredible so let's move on to the next one okay okay grim Wait, i know you want attention it's not very okay okay you can do that show off your tricks that's beautiful just sit down there behave yourself so up next is the hammer and this has a special charge attack and this one also comes in all appropriate material flavors and all you need is a stick and six of your ingots or diamonds or gold or whatever to make it and it has a plus seven damage so it has a normal kind of diamond capacity but when you hold the right click and charge it up kind of like a bow and release it the pig or the appropriate mob near you will fly into the air and it will get full damage and give it damage in the first place so come here piggy i need to do that to you again come here i said come here 
Let's do this again. Come on, quick. Oh my god, he keep missing. So it's very hard if the pig or the mob is a one that scarpers a lot. I'm just going to hit it. You're dead. You're dead. You're, you're really annoying me. So as you can see, you can get one that stands still really quickly. And this is going to be really handy if you have zombies all the way around you. And that one killed it in one shot. That was pretty incredible. So it looks like the more you charge it up, the more powerful it becomes. Let's try it out once more on this one, even though this one is kind of walking around. So as you can see, it'll be very, very handy when things are targeting you rather than you targeting them, as with the zombie example. So yeah, this can one hit kill stuff. Very, very interesting attack. And the next item is the grappling hook and also comes in all materials. And this one in particular is going to be using the iron grappling hook and it requires two iron and then three of the appropriate materials. So if you're making a diamond one, you will need three diamond on the end, but still require the two iron ingots. So when you're crafting the iron one, you will get six. When you craft the wooden one, you'll only get one. And then when you craft the diamond one, you can go all the way up to nine, which is pretty awesome. And that's because they are single use only. But in um, uh, creative mode, we'll be able to use more than one. So this one works pretty, pretty uniquely and very well, even though um, I've seen some grappling hooks in some mods that are very overpowered, this one is very balanced. So what you do is you right click to throw it and then you need to jump and right click and it will kind of fling you towards it. So jump, right click, very quickly. It's kind of hard to get used to when you first do it. It took me a while to get, get used to the technique, but if I throw it over here, it's got quite a good range on it if you throw it a bit higher. Jump, right click, and if you do it quick enough, you will get across to your tree or wherever you're trying to get to. So that's really awesome. Remember, they are only single use, but if you craft the diamond one, you will get your money's worth. So what are we moving on to now? next we are going to be moving on to a first throwing weapon in this mod which is the knife now this one will deal no melee damage whatsoever and is only useful when throwing but do bear in mind that if you're using a diamond one it won't do any straight up melee damage but will do the equivalent of diamond damage or diamond sword damage to the mob that you're throwing it at so all you're going to need is one stick and then your appropriate material and then you can get to throwing these bad boys so the normal throwing animation just right click it and it looks really really awesome flying through the air and then you can go up and pick it up after it's done its damage it looks like a diamond sword flying through the air but yeah let's try this on some pigs let's get some more pig volunteers in here and see how far we can throw this oh it goes all the way over the top there we go right in the face i think these will be a two shot kill Come here, piggy. Come here, piggy. Come here, piggy. Come here. Come here. <laughs> there we go. So it's quite hard to aim at these pigs, actually, with all of these weapons. They're just very, very tricky to try and get a hold of. But let's try this again. You can see that it will just take two shots as normal with a um, diamond sword to kill a pig. So that's really cool. Nice ranged weapon with a lot of power. So up next is a very interesting one, which is the mace. And it's very interesting because it has a variable damage output every time you use it. Now to craft it, you need one stick and four of your appropriate material. And when you hit something with it, it has a range of stuff like, I think it's from a wooden sword all the way up to nine, which is plus two on a diamond sword. So you can get from like four damage power to about nine, which is really crazy and really awesome. So it's a high risk, high reward kind of weapon. I'm not gonna demonstrate it right now because it's just fairly self-explanatory. But the next one I will demonstrate, which is the shield. Now a shield is a very useful item rather than a weapon and has a ability to block damage but has low durability. Now to craft these, your main kind of bulk of the recipe is going to be these five oak wood planks in the little cross here and then you use your appropriate materials here. So we can get all the way up to diamond shield which we're going to use now and we're going to grab these zombies as well. And now all you need to use it is hold it in your inventory as you would with a normal weapon, right click and you'll be blocking the damage. So let's get a zombie into here, use game mode zero quickly, put a zombie under here so he doesn't go on fire and as you can see I am blocking all of the damage from this zombie obviously i'm gonna go and find out grim grim save me grim save me right now please please oh my god so as you can see this is working really nice good boy well done well done grim so as you can see that worked really really nicely doesn't protect you from fire damage unfortunately but still a really really cool feature it's not got dual wielding at the moment so you can't hold a shield and a sword at the same time but um that might be a future mod feature so the last melee weapon in this mod is the spear. Now this is a throwing and a melee weapon. So unlike the knife, which was only a throwing weapon and only deal damage when it threw at a mob or a target, this one will actually do melee damage as well. So to craft it, you just need two sticks diagonally like this and then your material in the top right. And the diamond spear, when hitting normally, will do five attack damage, but when thrown, it will hit for the normal kind of diamond output, which is about seven. So let's try this out on an unforgiving pig and then we'll just, actually let's just throw it to see how it looks. It looks really Really cool is flying through the air let me just go and see what it looks like look at this it looks massive but you can go ahead and pick it up where are the pigs grim where are the pigs tell me oh here's one here's one <laughs> appropriately just spawned in here so let's right click throw it try and get it right in the head and there you go it hits it in the back and does normal diamond damage let's try and get it again oh these pigs are so tricky why did i choose pigs come on he's dodging it like a pro right now got assassin pig up in here oh my god oh my god let's get close oh <laughs> why is this so hard to hit 
Oh my god, you're going to meet your end really, really soon, Piggy. There we go, right in the back. So yeah, two shots as normal with a diamond sword and with a diamond spear. So a really cool weapon. I think I prefer the knives because they're a little bit quicker, but this one will do close range damage as well. So moving on to two of my favorite weapons from the mod. The first one is a very, very unique item that I've never seen before, which is the redstone EMP grenade. So you can actually throw redstone charge with this. And to craft it, you're going to need four redstone and one clay, and that will craft you three redstone grenades. And you could do some really cool stuff with this. So if I throw one on the floor here, you can see the puff of redstone and this one block that has got a temporary redstone charge to it. So over here, I'll demonstrate how long the charge works. So if I throw it on this redstone lamp here, you can see that it will alight for a a little bit and then go out so that's kind of like the the pulse of the redstone grenade but over here it's probably the most fun use for it you can light tnt from afar without having to have a redstone kind of charge leading up to it or without having to run the risk of putting a lever next to it, activating it and running away. So let's throw it onto the TNT. You need to aim it quite well and then the TNT will explode. Get away, Grim. You will get hurt, buddy. You need to watch out here. And as you can see, it exploded very, very nicely. And I'll just show that again. Hopefully Grim doesn't get in the way, but a very, very cool way to troll your friends without having a any evidence to leave behind, shall we? So, so that's really cool, really unique. I've never seen that before, but has many, many uses. Very cool indeed. So up next is probably my favorite weapon and probably will be your favorite weapon from the mod as well, which is the Fire Charge Cannon. Now, the Fire Charge Cannon um, relies on a brand new item in this mod, which is the Magma Core to be created, which is found from the Magma Cubes in the Nether. So you will need to take a trip to the Nether to get most of this stuff, actually. You need a Fire Charge, a Magma Core, which is a drop from the Magma Cube, a new one anyway, and a Blaze Powder, as well as six Nether Dricks to craft it, and that will give you the Fire Charge Cannon. Now, normally, if you're not in creative mode, it will require Fire Charges as ammo, and as you can see, it has a kind of like a unique feature which kind of balances it out. So so this is a very powerful weapon, but when you're walking with it attached or equipped in your hotbar, it will slow you down. So this is normal walking speed, and when I attach the or equip the fire cannon, it will slow me down quite a bit. So about half the walking speed, which is pretty crazy. If I'm sprinting then switch, it will slow me right down and speed me back up when I unequip it. So what does this do, I hear you ask? So what we're going to do is fire it. So it has two kind of stages of power. You right click and let go. It will fire out a fire charge. You just need to power it up enough and then it will fire out a fire charge. But if you hold it for a little bit longer just after it's fully charged, you will get an explosive fireball effect. Look how crazy that is. This is really, really awesome. So you just need to hold it for a little bit longer than fully charged and you'll get a very, very nice fireball. So as you can see, you need to hold it a little bit longer than that. Let's hold it a little bit longer. Come on, show me the fire. There we go. Look at that. You can cause some real destruction with this and also cook a lot of cows at the same time. So that is pretty much the fire charge cannon. As you can see, it slows me down in the air even more. Pretty crazy. So that is a fire charge cannon, a very, very fun weapon to have. So the last thing I want to go over in this mod are the custom enchantments that this adds. So these are designed to be added to these melee weapons and your ordinary Minecraft weapons as well. And there are eight in total. And we're going to start with the drawback, which improves your bow drawback speed. So that's a pretty much an enchantment you can use on both the crossbow and the normal Minecraft bow. You've got the Hawkeye, which improves your bow's range, which is really awesome. There's Swiftness, which increases your swing speed when you're using stuff like a mace or a hammer or even a normal Minecraft sword. It just increases the damage output you can get with it. Then you've got agility which is actually only applicable to leg armor and allows you to run a lot faster which is really cool then you've got venom which poisons your target so if you enchant a sword with venom and hit your opponent you will get a nice poison effect there then you've got life steal which is really cool and heals you half a heart on every attack you do which is a really really cool self-efficient enchantment then you've got strike which is random critical hit chance obviously it goes from one to five five being pretty much a critical hit every time which is crazy and then the last one is heavy which you can enchant on any piece of armor and makes you less likely to get knocked back by a knockback effect. So say your opponent has a knockback effect on their sword and you have the heavy enchantment, you won't get knocked back as far, which is really cool and pretty much sums up the Tux's weapons mod. So that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. And if you like what you see and want to play it for yourself, then please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. It's lots of fun. Even if you just play around with this gun for a bit, it is really, really fun to do, isn't it, Grim? Yes, you really enjoyed this mod view, even though you didn't do that much you showed your balancing skills which is pretty cool that's pretty cool so yeah if you happen to be new to the channel then please do subscribe for daily minecraft videos and if you did enjoy the video a like would be greatly appreciated too you can also catch me on my twitter and facebook accounts now in the description below too which would be awesome and that's pretty much it so thanks a lot again for watching guys and me and grim will see you next time goodbye <laughs>